Hi, I'm Nadia from The Daily Self.me, a lifestyle and travel blog. I started The Daily Self when I was writing for different publications in Ireland, different newspapers and magazines, and I realised that I actually couldn't post all my pictures into the art articles, so I started posting them on Instagram and then my blog was an extension of that. So the blog now has evolved into somewhere where I can share my tips, so packing lists and how to save money while travelling. And that first trip that I got was just because my editor couldn't go on a trip to Spain and I luckily stood in last minute and went wine tasting in Rioja and since then I just had the travel bug and I can't sit still. My last big trip was to Barbados and if you're going there there's two things that you have to do. The first is snorkeling with sea turtles. They are absolutely amazing and you can get so close and the water is crystal clear so you can see them so well. Make sure you bring a GoPro with you. And then the second thing is go to Oyster and Fish Fry. It's a kind of fish market that happens at night and Friday night is the best night. And it's just a mix of locals and tourists as well and all the local music and obviously loads of fresh local fish. One thing to be wary of if you are traveling to Barbados is it's illegal to wear anything with military colors. I arrived at the airport with a massive camouflage suitcase to absolute <laughs> aghast at the airport. They couldn't believe it and they were nearly confiscated my suitcase. So make sure and that you have nothing like caps or any clothing with military colours. My next big trip is going to be a round the world trip. I've spent a lot of time coming back to Ireland in the last couple of years of travelling and I just think it's kind of a little bit of a waste of time and all those plane rides where I could be visiting new places. So for example, I've been to the Caribbean six times in the last five months. So if I could spend that time more wisely, I would just hop from island to island. So I think I'm actually going to start my trip next month in the Caribbean. I'm going to go back to Jamaica because it's one of my favourite places and I'm going to sail with some friends along the different islands in, in the Caribbean as well. So I want to see every continent by the end of next year. I hit 30 countries by the time I was 30 and I plan on doing double that in the next year. So it's a big ask and I haven't got a lot of it planned and I just want to take it step by step and just go at a slower pace so that I can see more of each country. My biggest piece of advice if you're going travelling is to travel with an open mind. So do some amount of planning and preparation for your trip but go there with the option to extend it by days if you want to, to go and see something that wasn't on the itinerary because you really don't know a place until you get there, until you speak to the locals, until you get a feel for the atmosphere of a place. So I would say don't be too restricted by a very time-bound itinerary. Make sure you're open to new experiences and that's when you'll truly love the experience. My three top tips for packing stylishly for any adventure would be number one to pick a capsule wardrobe. Keep everything in the same kind of colour palette. So I usually go for denim, black, white, maybe some tan leather and that way everything goes together and I don't have to plan my outfits. The second thing would be to choose breathable fabrics that don't crease. So you don't want to spend your time on holidays ironing and you definitely don't want to be too hot and sweaty in, in hot countries. So make sure you use breathable fabrics and you can layer them as you go. And then the third one would be to accessorise. That way you can change up your outfits without having to pack too many clothes and you can keep within your baggage restrictions. It's so important to have travel insurance for any trip, whether it's just within Ireland or even when you're going abroad. So really, it's just having peace of mind. My bucket list grows longer every single day. So first on it is Cuba because I really want to see that soon. So I hopefully try and get there this year or next year. And also on there is Morocco. My dad's from Morocco and I've never been, which is a bit of an embarrassing fact. So I have to get to Morocco soon. And plus it's so easy to get to from Ireland. Philippines is on there too and so is New Zealand. I would absolutely love to go wine tasting in New Zealand. And then last but not least is national parks in America. I'd love to go to Yosemite and Yellowstone and just do the, all the camping and just get back to nature. My two favourite places that I've visited in the last couple of years have been Cape Town and South Africa. And the reason for that is because the people were so friendly, the food and drink was probably some of the nicest I've ever had in the world. And it's got something for everybody. You've got nature, wildlife, beach, city, shopping, absolutely everything. And it was just stunning. I went around November, which is a great time to go because it's not too hot. And the second is Iceland. So I've been twice in the last year and once was in winter and I would say definitely go in winter time because the novelty of the snow is just amazing. I also got out of Reykjavik. So I flew from Reykjavik to a smaller airport called Isafjordr in the west Fjord, which is the most remote part of Iceland and it's just absolutely stunning there is just snow that has never been walked on there's only a couple of thousand people in the biggest town there and you can go kayaking you can go um, stand up paddleboarding go snowshoeing it's just unbelievable and if you're lucky you might see the northern lights as well 
my two favorite travel websites. So the first one is Rome to Rio, and I use that website all the time to see how I can get from A to B. And it literally puts in planes, trains, boats, absolutely everything to get you from one location to the next. And sometimes it's really difficult to get to locations. And then the second is a blog, and it's called A Pair and a Spare. It's an Australian girl, and but she lives in Hong Kong. So I actually get loads of travel inspiration from her, and she does a lot of DIY. So she makes her own clothes, bags, and it's always kind of got a travel angle. And the photos are absolutely beautiful, and I love looking at her Instagram as well. That's all from me. I'm Nadia from thedailyself.me, and you can follow my adventures on Instagram, Nadia underscore dailyself.